So we have a little bit of a situation. We have this group of meat birds and we may or may not have let them go far, far past the day they should have been butchered. And now I'm not sure if they will even fit into our freezer bags and we're gonna be pushing it to get them jammed in the freezer. So today is butchering day, finally, and I'm not sure how this is all gonna go. So it seems like the roosters are the ones who got super big. The hens aren't as bad. And now that we've butchered a couple, I can see that we didn't go too big on the hens, but some of these big boys might be an issue with the storage. So I wish I had some grand excuse why these didn't get butchered on time, but honestly, life just happened. If they don't fit into the freezer bags, I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna do. It's the moment of truth. I think it'll fit. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, size is a little big. Where's Kenny's? Kids. Oh. Quit. Come on, chicken. Yay! Hey. It's a miracle, but they all fit into the bags. I think the fact that we fed a lower protein feed for these last several weeks pretty much saved us and kept us from having birds that were ginormously huge. We had to squeeze a couple in, but we made it. And now the next piece of the puzzle is how to fit them into my very full freezers. It's time to play a game of freezer Tetris. It's been a little while since I've organized them, in case you couldn't tell. Well, it is not pretty, and you may judge me for my lack of beautiful freezer organization, but it's gonna work for now. Before all of you send me a flood of emails on how to organize my freezer better, in my defense, we're actually getting ready to build a walk-in freezer to house our commercial beef that we've been selling, and we'll have a little bit of space in there for our personal food as well. So these freezers will actually be going away. So this is kind of a temporary fix, uh, which is why it's not beautiful at this moment. So thankfully this turned out better than I thought it would, even with our slight neglect of butchering dates. However, I wanted to show you my plan in the event that the chickens didn't fit into the freezer bags. So what I was going to do if we couldn't get them to fit was I was going to break down the bigger chickens. And this is actually a really good skill to have even if you don't butcher your own chickens because buying whole chickens at the store will save you some cash. Now, a lot of the times I just roast whole chickens for our meals, but it is nice to have chickens in pieces sometimes if you're frying them or using them in different recipes. I did not know how to do this when we started homesteading, and so I had to figure this out on my own, and I wanted to show you a few of the tricks I've learned along the way to make this a little less intimidating. Okay, so grab your chicken, go ahead and put it breast side up on a cutting board, and for this, I just use a sharp chef's knife. You could also use poultry shears if you have them, but they're not a necessity. Okay, so first we're gonna take the dark meat off. We're just going to cut through the skin carefully around here on the drumstick. And once we've loosened that up, just take your thumb, push it down deep, and we're just gonna pop this bone here out of the socket. My chicken is cold, so everything's a little bit stiff. See that popped out? I don't know if you could hear that right there. So that bone is now out of the socket. And now we're just gonna trim along here as close to the body of the bird as we can to not leave any meat there. If at any point in this process you start to feel like you're hacking through bone, you're doing it wrong, so stop and regroup. Here we go. Now we have our drum and our thigh. We'll separate those off in a minute. Repeat over here on the other side. 
Now we have our two thighs and drums and we're gonna flip these over and separate them. Now, it's kinda cool, we have a line here that's gonna help us out. There's this line of fat, the top of the drumstick where it connects to the thigh and if you start there, it should guide you right between the bones in the joint. See, it should come right through nice and easy. We're not hacking through bone. Here's one drum. There's a thigh. We'll repeat over here on the other side. Now, back over to our bird. Now we need to take the wings off. So I like to take them off kind of deep into the armpit of the chicken to get the whole wing. So I kind of dig my thumb down in there and feel the joint where it connects. And then I'm just gonna slide my knife down in and I kind of have to wiggle it to get that deep joint out, but it should pop off. Okay, the two wings are off and now we gotta move the breasts. So again, we have a white line of fat that will help guide us. You can either use your knife or you can use poultry shears just to separate the breasts from the backbone. Well, we are cutting through bone here and it does get a little sharp, so watch your fingers on those jagged bone pieces. We're just gonna cut that right across. Okay, now we have our breasts, but it is still attached to the bone here, so we want to trim that off. So the wishbone is right here, and we're just gonna shave the breast off of each side of the wishbone. Okay, then when you're all done, you should be left with eight pieces of chicken that you can use for fried chicken or whatever else you may have in mind. And then the best part of this process is that you are left with these bone pieces that you can turn into amazing and very nourishing chicken stock. So do not throw these away. We're gonna stick them in a pot with some onions and some spices and let them do their thing. So if you leave a little bit of meat on the bony bits, that's okay, it's just gonna make your stock taste that much better. You can see even my technique is not perfect. Sometimes I make my cut a little bit wrong, but it's all good. You'll still end up with pieces that you can use in recipes and your stock will be just fine. And we have a cow out. Go back in, come on. If you're curious about how we butcher our chickens from start to finish, I think you'll enjoy this video.